Greetings and welcome to the introduction to astronomy. One of the things that I like to do in each of my introductory astronomy classes is to begin the class with the astronomy picture of the day from the NASA website that is apod.nasa.gov apod. And today's picture for August 2nd of 2023. Well, it is titled M82 galaxy with a super galactic wind. So what do we see here? Well, this is the galaxy known as M82 and is an example of what is called a starburst galaxy. Now, a starburst galaxy, as you might guess, is undergoing a burst of star formation. And that occurs for various reasons, but often it has to do with gravitational interactions from another galaxy. And if it had a pass with the nearby uh, galaxy uh, M81, then that could have enhanced its star formation rate and had a lot more stars forming than you would typically expect for a ordinary spiral galaxy. Now, when we look at the one here, we can see you can't really see the distinct spiral structure very easily. But you can see the dust and you can see the blue colors that are associated with star formation. So the blue colors young stars that have recently formed and are still present many massive clusters of stars all blurred together out in the distance as we see this that is 12 million light years away. Now what we're actually looking at specifically here is what is called the galactic wind. Now we have solar wind, which is material from the sun that is expelled outward. Now that would be minuscule and would not even be noticed within a galaxy itself. But however, it's quite possible when you have a large number of objects together, perhaps a large number of stars, and th those winds all combine together, you can have that material strong enough to break out of the galaxy. Now you'll note that it breaks out perpendicular to the disk of the galaxy. That's where there's the least amount of material and the wind would have the least resistance. So it would be very hard to push it through the plane of the galaxy uh, here as we see here. Uh, that would be difficult because there's a lot more material, a lot of gas, a lot of dust that would inhibit the flow of these winds. However, when you go perpendicular to the galaxy, there's much less of that material and it's a lot easier for the winds to break out into into the sp into space. So that's one of the things that we look at in our image here. And these are again material pushed out by a large number of stars that we can then see here as a super galactic wind comparable on a, but on a much much larger scale to the solar wind of our own sun. So again this is M82 an example of a starburst galaxy having recently interacted with the neighboring galaxy but also showing the galactic wind that we also looked at today. So that was our picture of the day for August 2nd of 2023. It was titled M82 Galaxy with a Super Galactic Wind. We'll be back again tomorrow for the next picture, previewed to be launch and landing. So we'll see what that is about tomorrow. And until then, have a great day, everyone, and I will see you in class.